Okay, this is the nickel tour of the new house. There it is. Here on Edgemont Drive. So we'll head on in. Hmm. Got some plants about. Have a doorbell. Works. Okay. This would be the living room. Oop, that hole is where they had a light fixture hanging that wasn't actually plugged into anything. But they had gotten a pool table, so they figured they needed one of those pool table light fixtures, whether it worked or not. Okay. Over here into the kitchen. Just past the dining room into the kitchen. The oven needs replacing, but that's okay. Um, over here, this is the, we'll probably make this the kids playroom. And we've got the laundry room, and while we're here, let's check out the backyard. They got sprinklers high, or for some reason, or misters, I'm not, I'm not quite sure yet. But uh, lots of space, lots of possibilities. This was where their boat was parked, which is why it's not looking so good. Okay. Back in through the... Oh, we have one of those shelves you put out on the outside of the kitchen. You can put your pies out there to cool and then people come and steal them. Okay. And that's pretty much the downstairs. We keep the rest of the house upstairs. This is California, so there's no basement. Over here, this room, nice large room here, is the fifth bedroom. Um, why are running considers one, this one the fifth and not the first? I don't know, but fifth bedroom is sort of a special feature. Technically, it may not count as a bedroom at the moment because it doesn't have closeted doors, which seems to be part of the descriptor. Two sink bathroom. Normal bedroom one, probably going to be my office. Normal bedroom two, which already has some interesting trimming around. So that'll probably be Allison's. Sorry for the pause. The wind just blew clues that closed the door I left open and Startled me a bit. And master bedroom. So with walk-in closet. Thank goodness they got that huge safe out of there. Um, and bathroom. Anything here could be used a little upgrading, but it's all it's all serviceable at this point. Get us through the start. We've got 30 years of living here to fix things up. And that is pretty much that. This is the place where we'll be living for the foreseeable and hopefully very long future. Okay. And back out to the two car garage. the pile of trash left behind for us. But as such things go, not too much of a problem. And the for sale sign which needs to be taken down. 
because this is ours.